Crowley. Fan cams. Club news. Transfer news. Match previews. Legend interviews. Spurs women. Press conferences. Covering everything. Tottenham. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. I'm at another Echo 61 event. Do check out their website. I'm with the Tottenham Hotspur legend, Aurelio Gomez. Aurelio, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Excited to, to talk to you. <laughs> Thank you for coming on. Um, th firstly, your Tottenham Hotspur career. Favourite memories? Uh, Champions League, I think. I think especially uh, the game that qualified for the Champions League. Uh, uh, seats away. One new, <laughs> it's a tough, tough game. I, I played that game with a very tough injury as well, so I was uh, able uh, able to to play that game. And uh, at the end, uh, we we got a great, great result that uh, uh, gave us the, the opportunity to play Champions League. So uh, when it came to my mind, I can can say Milan away, oh, yeah. Milan at home. Yeah. Two great games that we had, so uh, especially that night was very good, very good. Special nights, those Champions League yeah. events. Aurelio, what was it like signing for Tottenham back in 2008? Because of course you come from PSV. Yeah, different league. Uh, uh, I was I was expected that the things was going to start easier for me, mm -hmm. <laughs> but straight away I had an in, injury, so that. Uh, uh, I take a while to adapt as well, but uh, yeah, I was excited in that time. You know, Ch uh, Premier League is always uh, uh, always always on my mind in that time, and uh, to sign for Tottenham was uh, special as well. So uh, I got a connection with the fans straight away, and uh, that was good as well. That helped me so so much to go through a very difficult time, and especially at the beginning. Of course, you started your career in Brazil. Yeah. Was was it always the goal to play in the Premier League? I never thought about that. Uh, when I started to play in Brazil, I just wanted the house for my mum. That was enough. <laughs> wow. But I ended up uh, in the Premier League, so uh, uh, Premier League was, was seemed like far away from from what uh, was my dream. Uh, but I worked so hard at Cruzeiro, then I, I went to, to PSV, uh, then I... I, I played 12 years in the Premier League, so it wasn't so bad. Incredible. <laughs> um, who were the who were your favourite players in the Tottenham Hotspur team, and, and who did you feel most comfortable? Um, you know, defenders playing in front of you. Ledley King, for sure. Mike Ondasso, um, uh, Modric, so many players. Uh, Sandro, <laughs> uh, Gareth Bale, so. So many good players. So, but uh, I remember when Dawson was playing uh, alongside Ledley King, he was suffering with uh, his his knee. But uh, every time that he came to the game, he was a player that uh, always gave a uh, hundred percent mm. and more. You know, he used to train just uh, thirty minutes before the game. But uh, uh, even that, you know, he, he used to perform so well. So. Uh, I was every time that uh, his name was in the team sheet, you know, I was comfortable, comfortable to play uh, with him uh, in front of me. Did you find it incredible how Ledley King didn't train, but yet he put in yeah. some superb performances like he did? Yeah, uh, of course, and uh, the way he was doing things, especially at the gym, you know, he was probably outside, he never mm. was difficult for him to train but uh, he was uh, like uh, doing an incredible work at, at the gym always a, a top top professional yeah. that uh, uh, gave him the opportunity to, to play you know in uh, such great games that like he did even with the problem that uh, that he had now your first season at the club we ended up getting into the League Cup final. We were actually holders going into that yeah. uh, final as well. 
Um, of course, we lost on penalties. Yeah. Um, how was that day for you, um, being in a final for Tottenham? And are you surprised? Sixteen years now, we're waiting for a trophy. Yeah, of course. Especially, especially I think that uh, that was the start of the new Tottenham. Now, mm. you know, the way the team is playing now is much different than we used to play. We used to have a very good team, especially 2008, 2000. And Nine, then 2009, 10. Yeah. In the Champions League, we we used to have a very good team, but the way the team is playing now, we uh, it's a surprise, big surprise, because yeah. I wanted to win in that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my my first interview, I said, "What are you doing here?" They asked me, "I'm here to win trophies." Yeah. <laughs> they almost killed me, and they, and they <laughs> don't say that. Uh, I say I said that because uh, it's a huge club. Uh, and, uh, and the club deserve more in terms of winning titles, I think. What do you think the problem has been? Why do you think the Spurs have not won a trophy in all that time? Bit because of, when, when you think of the players that yeah. we've had at the club in that time. Bit of luck, you know. Uh, because uh, we, like you said, we used to have a very good team. So uh, after that as well, uh, when Potecino's here, mm. you know, a big chance. And uh, I, I thought it was going to be this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone, I think, this is the time. Yeah. But again, again, I don't know. Uh, it's like uh, we, we, we lose energy when uh, you have to decide, you know. Uh, yeah, but... Uh, we cannot explain. Can you explain that? No, no. <laughs> I've been to too many semi-finals and too many yeah, finals, exactly, and it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's exactly. disappointment. But um, yeah. talk, talking about the team now, obviously, Ange Postecoglou came in in the summer. Um, Spurs are playing, you know, a different brand of football. Everyone's being excited and, and entertained again. Mm -hmm. What have you made of the football this season? And uh, are you confident that Spurs will be back in the Champions League next season? Yeah, much better than uh, the last season. Yeah, uh, it was uh, very difficult to watch last season. Yeah. But this season, you uh, almost hundred percent sure that the team is going to score. Mm -hmm. uh, is still is still losing that games, you know. Yeah. Sometimes that games that will make difference. Yeah, you know. So I think that they just need to focus on this this type of game. Maybe they're going to to go to the game and oh, this is an easy game, but. There are no easy games in the Champions League, in, in the Premier League. So, but uh, it's nearly there. It's exciting the way the way they play at the moment, you know, and uh, the people they want it, the players they want it, and uh, uh, that's some light at the end of the tunnel. Your former teammate at Watford, Richarlison, yeah. of course, is uh, the main man for, for Tottenham up front at the moment. Um, have you been surprised by his form and, and do you think that we will see that again next season? No, I'm not surprised of the, the, his current form. I was surprised the way he was playing. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't surprised because I knew there was some problems, you know, he was going through a few problems. Uh, that's why uh, he was performing that way, you know, and uh, he was so disappointed as well. But this is uh, the proper Richarlison. And uh, I think you, you didn't see the best of him yet. He will perform even better, uh, especially now that his confidence, of course, he had uh, some problem, some injuries. So, but I hope that uh, he can, can come back, uh, you know, he's stronger. And uh, he wants to win, mm -hmm. loves to win, you know, and he give all uh, when he's in the pitch. What do you expect the outcome to be Saturday, England v Brazil? Uh, <laughs> Sorry, England. <laughs> um, I'm Brazil in my heart. <laughs> what was but it? A, a hard game, hard game. New manager for Brazil. You know, probably England is more. Yeah. Yeah, they have a, a team mm -hmm. now that play a long, long time together. So. Some young players so, uh, are going to be exciting, exciting game. Your former teammate Sandro, who you mentioned, yeah. um, he told me a couple of weeks ago that his dream is to manage Tottenham Hotspur. 
and he he capable for, of it. Do you think he will be I a think, good manager? I think, I think, he's uh, the way he. Normally, I speak to him about football, and the way he thinks about football, I think is is the way that uh, he can can put it. It's uh, of course it's different yeah. when you think when you work with uh, with players, so it's different. But uh, the way he thinks about football is. Uh, he can become a very, very good manager. Fredio, what was it like playing for Brazil? Uh, no words to de describe. Uh, I had uh, 33 cups, uh, one World Cup. Uh, so it was I, I played under 23 as well, and uh, uh, it's something that uh, every every player dreams of. Yeah. But uh, not many, you know, not many has the opportunity to to play for your country. It's, it's amazing. What was it like being part of that World Cup squad? Uh, was well, something that uh, I think that that season, the game against Arsenal, <laughs> that we won at home, uh, amazing, uh, amazing goal that Danny Rose scored. Yeah, and that, that perform. Uh, from that season, uh, for the whole season, of course, but uh, especially that game against Chelsea as well, that gave me opportunity to go to the World Cup, and and it was a special, very special moment for me. I was the second goalkeeper in that uh, in that tournament uh, with a, a possibility to play because Julius Cesar was injured with a bad injury on his his back. He's just recovering time to play, so. But I was very happy to be part of the squad. Aurelio, going back to Tottenham today, if Spurs are going to push on and go for the Premier League title and be up there with the likes of Liverpool and Manchester City, mm -hmm. what else do they need, in your opinion? Consistency. Winning games. They just need to... They cannot... Uh, uh, I believe they cannot think about a draw a game. Mm -hmm. They have to... Uh, even if they go to play against City and they prove that they can do it. Yeah. They need to to win it because otherwise it's going to be very hard. And in terms of the transfer window, what what positions uh, do you think that they need to improve? Uh, uh, I think they need to 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 have more backups, you know, for each positions uh, because it's long season. Yeah. And they suffered a lot at the back with uh, the injury that they suffered in the in the uh, between. Uh, uh, first half of the season, you know. Uh, so I think they, they need to have a very good backup for, for the positions that they, they have, because they have a very good team, but they need to have a good backups, you know, uh, like Emerson was playing uh, as a centre-back. Mm. He did well, to be honest, but uh, it's not his position. You know, I think uh, uh, they have to think about it. Last question for you. I'd like to know what Harry Redknapp was shouting at Sandro. Because you said to Sandro, he said, just doing what you're doing. <laughs> what did he really say? <laughs> that was funny. So we, the game against Bolton, you know. Yeah. Sandro was receiving the ball, facing me. And he always tried to turn, you know. And he, he needed just to pass to the defender, right or left back. <laughs> and he was keeping losing the ball. And uh, Harry just uh, at uh, at uh, the dressing room is come to to him, and he said to me, "Translate to him, <laughs> yeah. If they he lose the ball once more, he never gonna play with me again." <laughs> but he didn't tell him that. <laughs> no, I said, no. "Oh, he said Harry just said for you to oh calm down, but uh, don't be so calm like you are <laughs> <laughs> at the moment. You need to pass the ball. Don't turn." You know, so imagine if I I say that to Sandro, he's not going to play anymore because exactly, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it can can goes into into his mind. Just wanted to ask you as well. Um, you're becoming a pastor or a, a football agent. What what are you doing now? Yeah, I'm a I'm a football agent. Yeah. So, but of course I preach the gospel as well, mm -hmm. which is something that is in my heart, and uh, uh, that's why I wanted things to do. I think that will give me more freedom, you know, to, yeah. to go around. And But uh, I preach the gospel as well. 
Aurelio, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much and uh, best of luck for the future and uh, come on your Spurs. Thank come you so Spurs. much. Thank you.